temperatures on Earth are at their highest since the start of human civilization. Scientists say human-driven climate change has put the world in uncharted territory. New research published in scientific journal Nature analyzed ocean surface temperatures. The report says that the planet may even be at its warmest since 125,000 years ago, during the last warm period between ice ages. But as a world, we have yet to be really serious and do what we need to do. And according to most of the recent statistics, emissions globally rose over the years since Paris. And while 2020 obviously saw a small dip because of COVID, they are now again on the rise. In 2015, almost 200 countries signed the Paris Climate Agreement. The landmark accord aimed to substantially reduce greenhouse gas emissions in a bid to limit the global temperature rise to 2 degrees Celsius this century. But since then, countries have consistently failed to meet their targets. In 2020, the U.S. became the first country to withdraw from the Paris deal. The Trump administration had also rolled back environmental regulation to maximize drilling and fossil fuel development. But President Joe Biden has rejoined the Paris deal and signed a series of executive orders to address the climate crisis. A major policy reversal in the world's second largest greenhouse gas emitter behind China. Unlike previous administrations, I don't think the federal government should give handouts to big oil to the tune of $40 billion in fossil fuel subsidies. And I'm going to be going to the Congress asking them to eliminate those subsidies. We're going to take money and invest it in clean energy jobs in America. Biden's orders also include a moratorium on new oil and gas leasing on public lands. He's made the climate crisis a central issue of his administration. But that's upset the energy industry. Critics say millions of jobs and billions in revenue will be lost as the economy continues to struggle amid the pandemic. But environmentalists say the pivot to clean energy couldn't come soon enough. The costs of acting, that is to stop climate change, are much cheaper than the cost of inaction. If we allow climate change to continue, it will undermine food security, water security, security around the world. Biden says the U.S. must lead the global response to the climate crisis. But he admits the path won't be easy. And it can't be a solo effort, as each country needs to pull its weight. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.